surrender means death. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. We proud to be Texan Rangers. Linda Kennedy. We were just talking sports. We were. In there. Texas sports is its a religion. Texas Everything Rising is. premieres on the History Channel this Monday. Monday and it tells night. the story of the after the brutal defeat of the Alamo, the fearless Texas Rangers under the command of General Sam Houston fight for revenge against the Santa Ana troops. Five-part series. Five-part series starts Monday night, 9 o'clock, 8 central, two hours then it will go on Tuesday the 26th consecutively the next Monday and Tuesday, then Monday's through on out for the 10 hours. Cast includes Bill Paxton, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Ray Liotta, Brendan Fraser, right? Olivier Mar Martinez, and Cynthia Ade Robinson. It gets better. Thomas Jane, Crispin Glover, Reese Coiro, Jeremy Davies, Christopher McDonald, who played Shooter McGavin. Everybody's Last time I saw you, I think, his. was with Chris. Yeah, it was. Sure. We were in the hall over at Wynn. <laughs> Max Terriot from Bates Motel. And Clint was saying that he'd grown up close to Boston. We had several Boston, uh, not Buffalo. Boston, Buffalo. Several Buffalo Same people thing. in the crew. Chris McDonald, Buffalo tried and true. Uh -huh. uh, Jim McMahon, not in the film, but really close Quarterback friends. Quarterback for the Bears? Yeah, for the Bears. <laughs> uh, really close <laughs> friends of Chris McDonald and also Chad Michael Murray. All Buffalo people. So when they announced that Jim Kelly had, had beaten cancer over the summer while we were out in Durango, it was, it was an amazing thing. So we had all these Buffalo people out there. But Jonathan checking a local guy, Adam Hicks, who uh, is also in the film. Cool. They're, they're passing notes over to Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have, a moment we have a, of silence. Because <laughs> I guess the computer isn't turned on. Uh, we have a caller here, and I don't uh, – computer thing isn't. So if you want to uh, put uh, Danielle through with a question, Jeremy. Uh -oh. Danielle, can you hear us? Danielle, Danielle going once, Danielle going twice. Say hello can you if you hear can hear me. Yeah, we can hear is. you. There she, there she is. Danielle. Hi. Hi. Hi, Danielle. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Even better now that y'all are talking about Texas Rising. Well, you got an accent there. Where are you from? Dallas, Texas. Hey, that's where I that's where I hail from. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was out there. So are you excited for Texas Rising to come out? I am so excited. It looks so fantastic. All the trailers that history has been putting out all the teases well a lot of texans live in trailers don't they hey. <laughs> come on now Stop it. i got an aunt grandma and an uncle dad <laughs> uncle dad <laughs> <laughs> y'all are awful but no it, it looks like it's going to be just fantastic we're all just really eager to watch well we're so excited and it was such a a, a long uh, process being out in durango with everybody but i tell you as one of the uh, the few texans that are actually in this the, just the, the heritage of being in your blood, and it kind of rings true of, you know, you're Texas-born, Texas-bred. When you die, you're Texas-dead. Mm -hmm. But uh, to, to grow up in there and then to be able to represent the state by being uh, a part of this production and being a cast member in it, was, it's just something that I'll look back at for the rest of my life. You, act, you acted? I did. I play Zacharias, one of the Texas Rangers. Ah. I hail from up there in Indian Territory. Now, do you two know each other, Daniel? No, I don't. No, no, just a caller, just a random caller. Any other questions? But everybody from Texas, we know each other somehow. I'm yeah. sure that you go to Miko, Cena, and Papacitas, and Snuffers, and everything else there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, Daniel, thanks for calling, and we appreciate it. Keep listening. Oh, I have a question. Oh, you do have a question. Okay, what is it? I have a question. All right. So, um, Marklin, I saw the cutest photo of you and your son with matching cowboy hats. Is there a <laughs> <laughs> that that is true that actually uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan who is is one of the most amazing guys that I've been around and uh, is just a fantastic human being his his son Gus and his wife they had come up to uh, Durango while we were filming and uh, I had told stories my little son was born uh, and he was three weeks old when I left to go to Durango so when I got wow. back he was seven months so Jeffrey Dean Morgan actually bought me that hat for my son so when I got back, that's the story of that beautiful little hat there, and it matches the, the, the hat that I had on there. So that's great. And I just recently saw Jeffrey at the premiere, and he asked all about my, you know, my family and my son and everything, and, and I just couldn't keep talking more about what a fantastic guy Jeffrey Dean is. What's it like working with him? You learn every single time you're around him, so everything he does, you're going to learn from him. Danielle, thanks for calling. You're welcome. Appreciate you. Mark, yeah. we've known each other a long time, and, you know, and, and 
I invited you on the show to, of course, talk about the show. But, I, you know, the great thing about being able to do this is to have friends around that we can talk about stuff. And, and we try and stay a little topical. And one of the things we want to talk about is Memorial Day. And aside from the barbecue and the beer, what does Memorial Day mean to you? Well, aside from my daughter's name being barbecue, and I was going to bring tough. that up, <laughs> your daughter's name really isn't barbecue. That's, I called her barbecue. They wouldn't let me legally name her that in the, in the that delivery room. That would have been room. great. And, and your other child's everything. name is Quazo. Quazo. What? What is he? Kwanzaa? No, queso. 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 Cheese. Barbecue. Texas. They all go together. Does isn't it pronounced Quazo? No. Uh, if you're not from Texas, maybe. <laughs> well, I'm from Chicago. How do you spell? Oh, well, yeah, Q, isn't it Q U E S O? Yeah. Quaso. Quaso Fundigo. And you think that spells Quaso? Yeah, I did. I really, <laughs> Q-U-E-S-O. Uh, he also says tortilla. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amigo. Yeah. So anyway, uh, it is Memorial Day weekend, aside from the barbecue and beer. Um, and your, your show is being released on Memorial Day. Yes, it is. So, um, you know, on the Memorial Factor, we just got back from San Antonio at a big event at the Alamo. And it was uh, looking at the place where the history of Texas really started in the Republic. But when you're sitting there and you realize what Memorial Day really is and mm -hmm. the, the people that lost their lives on both sides, on all sides, not only on the Texan side, but on the Mexican side and the Indian side during these battles in, in uh, the mid 1800s, you know, it leads into every war because this was a war that was going on then. Every war that our nation has fought, not only ours, but around the world. So I think Memorial Day really is is remembering everybody and what we've fought for and gotten to. How many years does the uh, the miniseries circumference how many years does it go it's only going in uh, it lasts no, I mean, uh, in right the, right it, this this miniseries covers about maybe a month and a half two months oh really yeah oh, so that's wow. what it is later on there'll be the Comanche years and different things where it skips around so it doesn't cover the Colt years in 45 it's really kind of sticking in 1836 it begins at the fall of the Alamo right after it falls because everybody knows that story it picks up immediately following there so you start the Republic of Texas the Texas Rangers Santa Ana Sam Houston the battle between them how they go on in Emily West, who's the Yellow Rose of Texas, the, the role she played in between those two and okay. led into so it. So it goes for about a month, month yeah. and a half. Wow. So how do you go from gigolos to Texas rising? <laughs> well, I, I stopped in the, a couple of stops away from there doing the show on the corner out here, Mike Murphy, who just retired. So went to post-mortem in Vegas, which is over a lifetime, and then the show we were talking on, the chef show. But uh, I've been producing for probably about seven years now, and I've put together a lot of different projects and been a part of. And... And the production company that does this also did Hatfield McCoys. And uh, I had known them, and, and we had worked collaboratively uh, on some other projects. And so when this was coming around, they needed my skill set and wanted me to come out to Durango and get out there and be in a part of the world that nobody's ever been in, like myself, and set up camp and start it. Now, is this the, the first time that you've acted in a while since Melrose Place? It, <laughs> no. Now, now, we know each other pretty well. Yeah. We go away Night of a Thousand Stars. That's right. When you used to do Night of a Thousand. Well. Yeah, that was Clint. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Holmes over here, is, we've been doing this almost 20 years. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It has been a while. I've got, I usually would put myself or my family in some of my stuff. Like, barbecue's been in everything that I've done. She is so cute. She, she has been <laughs> she in all so the TV pretty. shows. They didn't make it out to Durango, but she's been in all the TV shows. So this is uh, first and probably since I've been out here and gotten out of the, you know, the Vegas business. And That's stuff. what I thought. 15 years. And you, you capture the greatest pictures of your daughter. <laughs> the oh, the pal pictures? Oh, my God. Yeah. The, the pictures of barbecue. Just... <laughs> she doesn't mess around. She'll, she'll jerk a knot in you. She tells you exactly how it is. But then Queso's completely different. He's just all giggles. He just took his first steps walking. Did you say she'll jerk a knot in you? Yeah, she'll yeah. jerk a knot in you. That's a Texas saying. What a great line. She'll <laughs> jerk a knot I might have you. to use that. Sometimes it's I'll stomp a mud hole in you, but she is, uh, you know, she'll jerk a knot in you. And, and your, your accent has come out a lot more since, since you've been doing this. Well, when I was out in Durango, I'd call home. Um, uh, my family didn't know what I was even saying. <laughs> everything sounds like a question. Yeah. Speaking of questions. Can I ask what your children's middle names are? Because you're so creative. This, well, my son's <laughs> middle name is Marklin. Oh, well, see there, there and my you nephew's go. middle name, who's just out here, is also Marklin. So when we were out playing Las Vegas Country Club yesterday, there were three right. Marklins there. So wow, your son would be Quazo Marklin? Quazo <laughs> Marklin. His first name is Grayson. Well, I say Quazo. His first name is Grayson, and my daughter's oh. first name is Alexa. Oh, okay. 
But I call her barbecue, and we can't call her that at school because okay. my wife, right. Carrie, freaks out. Yeah, <laughs> I, well, what a lot of people don't know, and I do, is that your your dad has been an actor and still an actor. For 100 years, I think so. He's older than dirt, and he loves it. He was going to come out to Durango, <laughs> but just the altitude and stuff there, and he loves nothing more. But I'm putting together a film right now that I, he's going to be in. So I'm going to continue on with that acting tradition. My dad's been acting. He did JFK and Nixon and uh, L.A. Confidential, Nurse Betty. He won uh, wow. Supporting Actor. Wow. Uh, an Emmy for uh, a thing called Texas Justice, which is very close to Texas Rising. So I followed his footsteps, didn't know it. Yeah, great, great folks. Love your folks. They say hello. I appreciate it. Texas Rising, upcoming History Channel, five-part television miniseries based on Texas Revolution against Mexico, how the Texas Rangers were created, directed by Roland Jaffe, due on Memorial Day, May 25th, starring Bill Paxton, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Ray Liotta, Brendan Fraser, lots more folks. And it's this Monday on the History Channel. Stay tuned. You listen to Vegas nonstop. We'll be back with more right after these messages. Stay where you are.